What's up, guys? Here you are again for another reaction. So today we are to continue our journeys and reactions to TV shows. And the TV show I'm going today with, guys, is the one and only The Walking Dead episode 10. Uh, after this episode, will be remaining only three episodes for us to finish uh, this season, and then we will jump to season three. I heard the season three is, you know. No, I I not heard. Basically, it's you know a research. I was like curious, you know, to see which Walking Dead season will be like, uh, no, the most highly rated season basically, and from a lot of websites I made you no know, the research of season three uh, was often in position one. So I can wait to see actually like the season three how you know how they deal that season, you know why that season. Is considered the best from the 11th, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's that for afterwards. But of course, uh, episode 10, we're close to that moment, so that's why I wanted to emphasize. Uh, last episode, we had uh, great stuff happening. Uh, we had that moment with you know uh, Rick, Glenn, and Herschel. Uh, on that place, that they you no know, the afterwards of them defeating those two dudes. Some friends of them, uh, they tried to rescue uh, those two dudes, and we had like kind of like a small drama, you know, uh, especially with Glenn. Glenn not really uh, manning up, you know. He has a lot of courage, but still, he has to to be less naive, you know, less to be uh, more efficient on his decisions, basically, you know. But yeah, I think like Glenn. In the future, he has the potential to be a card that we will get, you know, uh, respect towards uh, this card. You know, I can see this happening. Maybe. What else happened? Ah, uh, Shane. Shane, you no, know, lied to Laurie when he found it her uh, after that, you no, know, accident that she has, and she was able to also uh, get get rid of one of the, the undeads, or even like, were not just one, were like two or three. She got rid of all those and that that were around that, you know, the card, uh, you know, she was in that, you know, she has accidents with, um, yes, she got rid of all of them, was like Laurie's moment so far, I think, so far we had a like, moment with Laurie, really like showing uh, her surviving skills, so finally we got to know uh, what she's capable of, and then Shane uh, popped in and, you know, he lied about, um, Rick, Glenn, and Herschel being back home, so she would quit or make her search towards them, and you no, know, he would be able to to bring her back. When she got to know that, you no, know, he lied, she got pretty mad, and the end of the episode ended by her trying to convince Rick to get rid of Shane. Shane is like very very dangerous. He is completely obsessed by her and creating a life around her and Carl. So let's see like what Rick will do regarding all this. I'm excited guys. I'm excited because last three episodes, last four episodes because we're into episode four, uh, 10, last four episodes will be, I think, Rick against Shane. I'm not sure, but the last scene of the last episode made me believe that basically. Yes guys, enough talk. Uh, as always, before we jump to episode 10 of season two of Talking Dead, Please give me a love energy by subscribe to my channel. This one click, you're gonna make me much more happier, stronger. So you know to keep the right mind to keep me saying to you guys almost every day. And yes, that's all the for and fun. And let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Wow, the creepy soundtrack. Let's change. Look at this. So they went to some place, yeah. Try to grab some supplies, maybe. And we are having, you no, know, Vic and Shane together. Maybe they will have a confrontation. No, talk it, talk it. <laughs> Machete! No, knife. <laughs> Guys, what an intro, man. So unexpected intro. The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, they definitely went to pick it up something, you know, some supplies. Guys, Vic will confront him. Check it out. 
And why you stopped it? Why are we stopping? I want to talk. You go. Been waiting a week till we were gonna do this. Gonna fight even. He's passed out when y'all brought him back. Don't know where the farm is. That isn't what I need to talk to you about. <laughs> Come on, Rick. Finally, finally. I heard what really happened to the school. Was it to survive? But Shane didn't confirm that she, he killed Otis. Yeah. But he did. He did. He had no business being here. This thing, Shane has no emotion, you know? He does what it has to be done for the things to, to go well, basically. You don't think I can keep Lori or Carl safe? I didn't say that. Rick, you can do all this, but we'll take a, a longer path with honor. A path with honor takes all is longer, you know? Now, Lori says you're dangerous, but you're not going to be dangerous. Not to us. There you go. Hey, guys, that's exactly what I wanted to happen him to speak with him and change him actually not like having confrontation he will be able to change him you and Lori I get what happened I get what happened so he understands it wow I figured it out pretty quickly I wanted to break your jaw but I didn't that wasn't weakness it took everything moral for speech right there I will stay alive to keep them alive <laughs> never see Shane like being so uh, obedient, kind of, you know? He's like dealing with his older brother right now. Now, the only way you and me keep on is that you accept everything I just said right here, right now. The love for a woman, yeah, can break uh, friendships. That's like what is happening all the time. He has a bondy man, and she is also an handsome woman. And I think she's a great person also, so... Two weeks later, I'm in the hospital, and there were soldiers shooting people in the halls. They were shooting people, man, not walkers. You know, I tried to get you out. Yeah, he's telling the truth, but he's a changed man right now. I want you to know that I didn't look at her before that. Brother, if I could take it all back, I would. I want to check the ropes. Guys, this, this dialogue between them was great. Ah, they are bringing him back, yeah. Hopefully Shane, like, will still keep with the gang, you know? Shane brings something special to the show. He's not the same. He says he froze, blames me, says I got inside his head. Tell him to man up and pull himself together. Just don't say man up, it never goes well. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, nice dishes. They will not have a better place than this place if they will leave eventually. They will miss this place, you know? It's like heaven. A place like this, in a world like this, Herschel House is like heaven. Head of the winter. Maybe we get a break. You gotta think the cold affects them. What? The cold affects who? The walkers. Who is that? Can they stop and check? You're pregnant. How could she do that? Yeah, she has a point. Uh, I don't really have a choice. Yeah. It's hard like to to do the thing without protection in a place like this. They are run out of supplies. Desire is true, you know? Sexual desire is a reality. It's more than 18. Yeah, I'm looking for a place. Give them a fair shake, a shot. Okay, he's willing to go more than they agreed to drop him. And yeah, that's like Rick is too uh, honest, you know? This will put them in trouble. They will find themselves again in a situation of, of danger against enemies. Because of Rick's honest. Rick's trying to always go further in a matter of helping others, you know. Okay, don't tell me the beginning of this episode is actually like the end of it. And they are about to head to that place we saw with them against the walkers. This'll do. We'll leave the boy here. Scavenge some supplies. Yeah, scavenge some supplies. Exactly, man. It's gonna be fun. Finally. Guys, think about it. We are missing some scenes with walkers, like, actually, like, you know, Resident Evil shit. Now, yeah, they can smell the blood. Come here, puppy. Come to mommy. Blow! But the bullet in the head will... Ah. Yes, Rick. Yes, Rick. Here Guns go. quick, easy, but other ways to do this. Your turn. Wow, Shane is being ditched. Jesus, this will, like... Make Shane start respecting a lot of Rick, you know? Shane will start, okay, Rick is actually the alpha in our gang. He's more complete than Shane. Shane might be more tough, but Rick is more complete, you know? 
Hey guys, what? We are only 10 minutes of this episode. We're gonna have half an hour in this place surviving stuff against walkers. Give me that, please. What the fuck was that? I think inside of this building might be a lot of walkers. That's why we uh, had all those walkers following them at the beginning. You give it to me, sweetheart. You don't want to do this. Hold the fuck. Yeah, they cannot give anything to her that gives her the chance to kill herself. You know? Have you seen Maggie or Herschel? Yeah, she needs to, to mention that to, to Herschel. Don't be stupid! I'm yeah, that's a knife. Jesus. He needs to find a way to, to save his ass by himself. I went to school with Maggie, for God's sake! <gasps> He knows about Maggie. He knows about all this, that place. I knew her. I knew who her dad was. So what's the point of coming here to this place, trying to hide the, the, the way to Maggie's place, if he knows Maggie? He knows where the farm is, Rick. We go. Where we are, he knows. Shh, you go. Shane. For Shane, he will kill him. Straight away. Shane, no! But... Not now! Don't let him kill me. Please don't. Shut up! They need to kill him. Shane is right, guys. Because if he save his ass and tell all those dudes that farm is a safe place, actually, they will take over that place. There are no rules, man. We're lost. No, 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 man. I know exactly where I am. You don't know shit don't anymore. Can... I like when they are like arguing with each other. They really like they man up, basically, no? The way they act, the way they like they speak against each other. Oh, come on, Rick. Yes. But I think Shane will beat Rick's ass. Shane is stuff. All this will attract the walkers. And they may try to fight you. I told you, Shane is stronger. Shane, as a fighter, is better. He's tougher. But Rick is a you know, a better decision maker. Unless like this type of decisions they come to the surface, you know? He's too he's too honest. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people they are actually fans, more fans than Shane than Rick. Oh, oh! He broke his teeth, no? Or his nose? You're not doing this! This was intense, man. Oh, fuck, wait. Here go the walkers. So, Rick in the end beat, no, the hell out of Shane. So maybe Rick is actually stronger. Here you go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Okay, I think the scene that we started episode is from this moment on. <laughs> Rick is trying to, to make something to not attract the walkers and they are like a herd. <laughs> so after this, they cannot be friends anymore. When you fight against a dude like this, it's gonna be hard for you to be friends again with that person. You know? So I think that thing is over. It's all about you now they will uh, split paths basically. You can what? Can ah? Uh, can walk now? Perfect. Kick this guy into the rest. Eat the Eat the makeup. Looks so on point. Yes, yes. Ui, 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 ui. This kid is the breaking point of this farm because of this kid, this farm is in trouble. You know, this farm is not more a safer place. Basically, because this kid will bring all his friends to this farm. From this perspective, Rick did very wrong, you know? He should have killed him when he, no, he had the chance. Point for Shane, guys. A point for Shane. She only has so many choices in front of her, and she believes the best one is suicide. That's not an option. The men can handle this on their own. They don't need your help. Someone trying to commit suicide and respect that. Yeah? I'd rather see someone like to commit suicide than bring danger to other people, you know? A lot of people, they instead of committing suicide, they become bad people, you know? That famous line from Batman. Or you die a hero, or you either live long, you know, to see yourself becoming the villain. Go in there and tell that little girl that she'll get a husband, a son, baby, boyfriend. She just has go. to look on the bright side. Husband, son, boyfriend. Yeah, of course, she knows. She knows about that thing with change. But that's the truth, man. In this world, it's just suffering. Even like in our world without these undeads, we suffer a lot. So imagine a world like this. I'm gonna use this guy immediately. 
Yeah, I got it. It's amazing. I keep loving the makeup. And me? You could do that to me? I can't take another funeral. I don't want to be gutted. I want to go in this bed tonight. This will happen. Wow. They're coming with this, you know? I wonder the impact of this scene to the viewers, to the world. Like, I wonder if because of Walking Dead, the suicidal uh, cases has rise. Hopefully not. This scene is crazy. But the way they have done it, like, they did it in a way that suiciding is actually like something that we should think of. And you know, that's why I mentioned about the impact of this scene to the viewers, you know? Is this what you want? The pain doesn't go away. You just make room for it. Yeah, because people around her will suffer, you know? She has to think about the people that love her. Losing her will bring pain to their hearts. Let's go. What? We did this. We're going. Hey, you guys, yeah. That relationship is gone. Okay, Vic is, like, right now, he sees Shane as an enemy. But I think they should have killed him. Shane was right. <laughs> yeah. I'm Got sorry. This. What you like can do now? How can you stop the not the bleeding, but how long it takes to the vessels to heal again when you cut your wrists? You know. I, I still don't believe that he will leave Shane behind. You know. They had the fight, but how about all their life together? That scene that he looked to those police officers reminded him that thing together. Vic will never let Shane to die. Never. Let's see what you know. Shane will think about all this. Hopefully, this will create something on Shane's heart. You know, like a change. She wants to live. She made her decision. My father is stitching her wrist right now. She'll live. Don't you dare step foot inside this house again. She didn't convince her to kill herself, but she shared the same emotions. You know, because she, at some point, she was uh, also willing to suicide. You know, that's why the spotter was uh, avoiding her to handle the gun. She understands her. If you want to kill me, you're going to have to do better than a ranch. But I am going to think about it at night. It can't be that easy killing someone. You know that. If this thing about Rick saving Shane now on this uh, school bus will not change his perception regarding the thing with Rick, his wife and his son, I don't know, like nothing will. It's time for you to come back. Time for you to come back. Wow, wow. Again, Vic showing mercy. Let's see the consequences. Yeah, that's the same dude. Who's that? Come on, please. What this scene like is trying to tell us? Wow, well, guys, great episode. Great, great episode. Finally, uh, we had an episode more with the walkers, you know. Uh, surviving uh, you know with the walkers in a place you know we had with, with Otis and Shane at the beginning but I was like willing to to see another scene with them uh, struggling uh, trying to survive uh, away from the walkers uh, I, they did it very well uh, at the beginning I could not like really understand what was happening uh, so yeah the beginning was basically 60-70% of these episodes uh, yes I was right mentioning that they were looking for supplies uh, but yeah uh, I didn't figure out that the scene with that kid going tower the knife was actually the kid that they uh, saved kind of from that scene with Glenn and Herschel and Rick uh, that's why I could not like straight away realize okay they try to bring the kid away and they stop at some place to drop him and they try to grab some supplies so that's like uh what was happening at the beginning eventually we figured out uh ahead on this episode a really well done episode i just love this episode the outcome no outcome basically no it's like uh we waste an episode basically the thing is this show is not about going further it's about trying to solve the issues and this episode, even though they didn't went further, because going further would be finding a way to get rid of this kid, you know? But the episode went further uh, on Rick and Shane thing, you know? I loved how Rick confronted Shane. We were in a need of an episode like this, you know? 
Vic really confronting Shane, like being really a man, you know, showing him that, uh, you know, he's here for real, he is here to protect the, the people he loves. Uh, he will do everything to, to make sure Laurie and Carl will be safe. He has showed mercy to Shane a couple of times, so guys, there is no like way for us not to believe that Rick doesn't love Shane also. He loves Shane also, you know. But yes, I think from this point on, like I mentioned, if Shane uh, will not, not have a step back regarding this triangle, I don't know what will, you know. So hopefully this episode, or I thought this episode will be actually like, you know, the episode that they will split paths, you know. The last scene of him looking to that walker by himself, maybe he's telling us differently, but yeah, I thought that, I thought like, okay, that fight will stop them of being actually like a friend, you know, like a forceful duo. No, actually, again, Vic, you know, uh, showing mercy again, being so honest with everything, and they're on track again together, you know? Let's see like what Laurie will think of all this. Vic showing mercy to Shane. I think Laurie will disagree when Shane will tell her that again I saved Shane's ass, you know? Laurie will tell him, okay, you should have uh, left him to die in that place, you know, basically. Also the thing about the girl trying to commit suicide, the impact for all of us guys, you know, the way they have built that scene with the blondie trying to also like express her feelings regarding suicide that she was suicidal before she is not anymore she really comprehends her acts or her intentions but now her mentioning to her sister maggie that she will survive maybe it's a way to tell her okay after you, you know you've been suicidal after like you almost trying to kill herself if you survive that you will not kill her, you know, yourself anymore. And that's like why the blondie mentioned to, you know, to Maggie that she will you know, survive because I know that. Because I, I know I was exactly in the place that she was and then suddenly I changed because I could feel and you know, uh, tell that life is precious no matter what, you know, no matter um, you know, how painful life might be, there's always a way, basically, you know? I think that's what the blondie uh the scene with the blondie was trying to tell us basically yes guys let's see like what's gonna happen next episode uh next episode will be again i think the no the triangle will go on you know uh because laurie doesn't want chain more alongside that family let's see or maybe you no know, laurie will have a change of art a lot of things can happen we have witnessed a lot of changes in this show so it's almost impossible to be with the curiosity to provide like a, you know a possible situation that might happen this show is so unpredictable guys i think i said it all i mentioned the highlights as always if you like my reaction to this episode please press the like button and comment if you think you know uh should know something before i put this episode aside i think i no i do uh comment whatever you think i should know share with your friends they might like to watch someone else uh, reacting and watching this incredible show and other shows I'm doing. I'm reacting alongside this TV show, Mr. Robot, also an incredible TV show. You know, have a look at my reactions to this TV show also. And subscribe to my channel, guys. You're gonna love energy, so keep strong. With the right method to keep these things, you guys. Yes, as always, hope you're having fun. And most of all, stay safe, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.